cancer has spread to my lymph nodes. The doctors say I only have 10 to 12 months to live. I promise, Daryl, we'll get the best doctors money can buy. No, Emily, I want to be cryogenically preserved until they find a cure. Daryl, we've discussed this already. Science is not God. And I don't want to spend my inheritance on something I don't believe in. I mean, when we die, we die. There's no coming back. You can't cheat death. You have the financial ability to save me. Grant me my last wish. If I die before you, Daryl, then you can do what you want. Go ahead. Freeze yourself. I just don't believe in it. If you want to freeze yourself, if you want to freeze yourself, if you want to freeze yourself, Your doctors and I are amazed at your rehabilitation. What you've been through is unprecedented. Looks like your gamble on the future paid off. <laughs> you cheated death. You're cancer free. Seems you beat the devil. You're still letting me leave today at noon, right? Yes, it's time. We believe that your, that your independence will help your emotional progress. For now, you'll be moving into an apartment we've arranged and you'll receive a stipend until your financial mishap is corrected. Any news on that? All I know is that my assets were frozen around the time that I died uh, due to a lawsuit that was being brought against me by my sister-in-law. She didn't like me. Would you like to discuss that? Uh, not really. So, what are you gonna do first with your new existence? It's nerve-wracking, you know, being pulled out of your eternal fate and hoping that this new existence brings about a, an opportunity for repentance. Or do I simply savor the moment for what it truly is? A fluke. Well, it's not a fluke. You're living proof of man's medical progress. What am I going to do with my new existence? Well, I certainly am not going to go back to being a movie reviewer. I'll try to find a way to change the outcome of my first demise, if possible. What do you mean by that? <laughs> if I told you, you'd put me in a straitjacket and I wouldn't be leaving today. Straitjackets haven't been used in 20 years. You're an atheist, aren't you? You being here legitimizes my beliefs. You don't know what you've done, what you've tapped into. You're on the cusp of redefining morality. This is just a high-priced amusement ride that erases all consequences. What you need to define is what's moral to yourself. Why do you say that? You're, you're, you're letting me leave at noon, promise? Yes, that's a promise. Does this state still have the death penalty? Yes, but only in extreme cases. And, 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 and is the doctor, patient, uh, confidentiality rule a law? Yes, of course. But I, I... You pulled my soul out of hell, Dr. Cipher. When you resuscitated me, you pulled me from my eternal fate for murdering my wife. Wait, what? I killed her for her money so that I could live. They had all the evidence, but no body. My, my, my sister-in-law was trying to expedite the trial because of my illness. And the case never made it to court because I was dead. I knew what they had. All they needed was more time. I'm the most famous person in the planet. The press and the media is out there digging up my past. They have all they need. All they need is a prosecutor. Calm down, Daryl. When I died, it's just like they say, I rose out of my body until I saw this light. 
And it was beautiful. I didn't believe it until I saw it. And then my wife, Emily, came out of the light. And I felt shame and guilt. And then suddenly, these, these millions of like red, hot talon hands grabbed a hold of me and they pulled me down out of the light until there was only darkness. I'm not going back. There's a simple explanation. There's a well-touted theory that a dream state coincides with cryonic suspension. What you've just stated here legitimizes that theory in response to murdering your No, you're wrong, Dr. Cipher. And this is a waste of time. Is it noon yet? Nearly. I want to thank you, Dr. Cipher. But I'm going back to my room, and I'm going to prepare to leave. Any argument there? Yes, Daryl, there is. You see, Daryl, I'm a doctor of cryobiology and therefore not a medical doctor, which means the doctor-patient confidentiality rule doesn't apply. I'm afraid your confession... Am I even alive, doctor? I don't know, Daryl. Are you? Dr. Seifer. Yes? The two detectives are here to see Daryl. Surprise, all along it was the devil.